Hey everyone, welcome back. Excuse the steam here. Um, so I know I said I was going to be doing a lot of food challenges, but I also really still wanted to do a two times spicy noodle challenge. And they came in, so we're going to do that today. Um, since I got so full last time from the three packs, I'm just going to do three again. But we're going to do them just as is, and so we'll boil them and get them up, and we'll get started on this. I'm really excited. The last ones were pretty easy, so hopefully this one's more of a challenge. <laughs> So let's go ahead and add our sauce packets. See, they're the two times spicy now. Hey guys, um, it's ready. Let's go ahead and add our seaweed topping here. So it's the seaweed and sesame seed, I believe. And then I couldn't help it. I needed a little green. All right, I'm gonna have some wine tonight because I was cooking ragu today, so I had some leftover. Oh yeah, definitely good after a long day. Alright, let's dig in. So, two times spicy. Let's see how it is. Oh, it's very hot. So, how are y'all today? Mmm. Mmm, that's good. It still has that really good chickeny flavor, but it does have more kick. I'm liking this. I cannot wait to start working on the recipe to make this at home, you know, from scratch. Mm hmm Oh, that's good. And that little bit of green onion, very tasty. Actually, it gives a little crunch. This is more my speed for spicy. <coughs> Honey, you're right. This is a perfect amount of spice.
Let's make bite. <laughs> Yum. So I hope you all are having a really good Labor Day weekend. Um, these probably won't come out until later. I'm still working on getting my whole channel set up. Now please like and share this because I need a certain number of watch hours and subscribers to be eligible for um, Google Ads. And I would love to be able to just, you know, make a little bit of extra money on this. That way I can afford the food that I'm cooking. I do work full time, but... Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, so I, I do work full time. So this is just gonna be something that I do in my free time, which I don't have a lot of already, but this is fun. Like I really enjoy, I really enjoyed making the ragu video today. And I'm gonna do another one tomorrow, probably for um, a whole chicken that's burning in the refrigerator right now, and then I'm gonna make some bone broth out of, out of that chicken. So tune in if y'all want to know how to cook some things, if you don't just want to watch me eat. But if you do just want to watch me eat, I think I'm gonna do that. Maybe do mukbang Mondays. That might be a good idea. And then if any interesting food, food challenges come up, I'll do those too. Mm. Oh, this really is very good. I'm surprised. fantastic. So I apologize again for all the technical difficulties. Um, some big issues with the first noodle challenge and I had some lost footage on the ragu video. So I'm sorry guys, I am, I will be improving. That is for sure. don't quite have all the right equipment for this, but I don't want to invest in that until I know I'm going to keep doing it. People show an interest, most definitely. Mm. This is so good. I'm sure, I've got some on lipstick at this point. making my nose run, which I don't mind because my allergies have been absolutely awful today. I look so tired in my video. 
that I made earlier. I was editing it a little bit and it looks like I just rolled out of bed. Oh well. So I'm gonna get what you get with me. I am not good at doing makeup. I'm not good at doing my hair. I am good at cooking though. Well, in my opinion. So I ordered my groceries yesterday using Amazon Prime now. Um, I've never done that for delivery. I asked for one jalapeno pepper and I got 20. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all that. Maybe I'll find a recipe for salsa or something. I have so many jalapenos. I just wanted to make some chicken salad. Almost messy. So I'm not very good at this whole eating and talking thing apparently. Well, it's so good. I don't want to stop eating to talk. Like I've mentioned, I used to live in Houston, and I don't know if anyone here is from Houston, but they have a very significant Asian community there. Houston, really, they're pretty diverse all around, but they just opened up their second Asia town. It's not just Chinatown, that's why I said that. It's got a little bit of everything and it's got an H Mart in it and it's right by my old house. I'm so bummed because where I live now, we don't really have how much like that. We don't have much authentic Asian food, tiny little Asian markets that are nowhere near my home. Um, and they don't have much, but if y'all live anywhere near like a Chinatown, a Korea town, Anywhere that has like real Asian markets, if you have an H Mart, they're awesome. Highly recommend them. Um, you can definitely find these there if you want to try them. Like I said, they didn't have the two the, they didn't have these the two times spicy when I went to mine local store. So I had to order them on Amazon, which is a bummer. It's a little more expensive. But I was able to get all the spices and sauces that I need to make this, so. 
I'm ready for that when I have time. Pretty sure it's just gonna be like gochujang, gochugaru, um, some paprika, onion, garlic, and need some sugar, soy sauce, and chicken bouillon base for the chicken flavor. And for this heat, probably gonna have to put in some like capsaicin sauce. Which I'll, I'll probably get that on Amazon. Mm. Some curry powder would be good too. I'll probably put some curry powder in here. I need to read the ingredients on the packet, see what's actually in it. If you aren't familiar with Samyang, which is the brand for these, they have a lot of ramen options. A lot of these fire ones. They have cheese and carbonara and uh, jajangmyeon, black bean, curry, original, two times. They have the mini ones right now that are limited edition. stew and then they have their normal line which is not the super spicy ones just like the regular ones and all kinds of flavors in those too so if you're not into the spicy you can try that as well I know a lot of people put like butter and cheese and stuff in if they don't like the spicy to kind of cut it, cut it a little bit so it's not so hot. Right. Like I said, I like it. It's good. It is spicy. I'm probably going to feel it. But it's like so addicting. It's good. Awesome. So I really love spicy food when I'm sick, like with a cold. This would be perfect.
So good. A lot more wine, but I know that <laughs> I'm supposed to not drink anything during this, so I'm not. That was good. Mm -hmm. That was very good. Well, I like the two times spicy. It was very tasty. Um, definitely has a kick. I'm gonna have some ice cream after this. But um, thank you guys for joining me. And I will next up probably have how to make a whole chicken. So thanks. Bye.